Good morning and welcome back to the Smithy Shop. This is Dave. We're back here again today to cover some of the electrical requirements and hookups of your smithy machines. Whether it be a granite machine like we have here, one of the smaller Midas 3-in-1 machines, or even our smithy standalone lathes and mills. Now, machines from Smithy come in two different voltages. We have the 110 volt machine. Now, this one happens to be a 220 here. What I have in front of me is an example, though, of a 110 plug. Now, this is an example of a plug for a 110 machine. It's a standard 110 plug. You're all familiar with these. You see them on your lamps, your vacuum cleaners, your electric drills. The two flat prongs are parallel to each other. Now, when you look at the 220 plug that I have here, you see the two flat prongs are going the opposite direction. That keeps you from accidentally plugging a 110 machine into a 220 outlet. This is a NEMA 5-15. This is a NEMA 6-15. They can be acquired at any hardware store, electrical supply, uh, you can get the right wall outlet for your machine. And I'd like to show you how to properly check the voltage at a 220 volt outlet. I've got a 220 volt extension cord here. I've got my meter set on AC voltage. Let's put a probe into each one of the slots. And there we go. You see our shop voltage here. It fluctuates between maybe 213 to 215, which is fine. It is possible to hook your wires up wrong in your electrical box. And when you do this check between this and this, you get zero. You may get 110 between the ground and each one of these, but you would get zero across here. If you have that condition, definitely get an electrician to come in and check your wiring. Yes, I'm just finishing up the installation of the control box on the back of the Granite Max, IMAX, or Elite machine. The uh, Granite Classic has a much smaller control box, which is already installed right up here in a little box, but the machines with the brushless motor take this larger control. There's four screws that hold this onto the pulley box here. I've got all four screws installed. I just need to finish tightening the top two. And this is the only electrical assembly of any type that you have on the granite machines. Now that you know how to purchase the proper outlet for your machine, these machines will run off of a 15 amp breaker. Uh, we recommend a 20 amp breaker, that way if you're going to run a work light or some other thing, a radio or whatever, you're not taxing your outlet to the maximum. So 20 amp breaker for the 110 volt or the 220 volt, either one. I want to thank you for coming into the Smithy shop and watching this video. I hope it's been educational and informative for you. Keep an eye out for our other videos that will be coming out soon. So this is Dave saying goodbye from the Smithy shop. Until next time.